In today's video, I want to talk about decluttering and getting organized and what I have found to be one of the biggest obstacles for people trying to declutter their homes. So stick around for today's video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will like and subscribe. This channel does videos about different topics and I hope it's things that you'll enjoy and encourage you. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is published. Now to today's video. In previous videos, I've talked about decluttering and getting organized. I even admitted that it makes me uncomfortable to be in a space that's too cluttered. I like watching YouTube videos about getting organized and decluttering. I also like to listen to podcasts. Now, a podcast I listened to recently while on a road trip, I really enjoyed. And I want to share the name of that podcast with you now. The name of the podcast is Clutterbug Podcast. One of the episodes that I'm so impressed with and I really liked was an interview with Tracy McCubbin. Now, Tracy McCubbin is an author. She has written a book called Making Space Clutter-Free, the last book on decluttering you'll ever need. I will leave a link to Tracy McCubbin's website in the description of this video. It's a great website and will give you practical advice on how to declutter. In the interview, Tracy talks about when she goes to a client's home to help them get organized and declutter. She often finds out that they think they can buy their way out of the problem. She says that they'll say things like, if only I could have a bigger house, or if I could buy a house with bigger closets, or if I could buy more storage bins, <laughs> they think this would solve their problems. I thought this was so important that I wanted to make a video about it. I think a lot of us are guilty of that, especially if we have a tendency to want to shop and if we buy a lot of things. A lot of people that do have problems with clutter, they're over shopping. So that's one problem that they really need to get a hold of and not shop so much, not buy so much, not bring so much into their home but then they also need to learn how to let go of things. If they have a lot of storage bins and every closet is full, that's a problem. They don't need a bigger house with bigger closets or more storage bins. They just need to get rid of some of this stuff. And she says it's important to just start small, just grab a trash bag and fill it up, either with things that are in a drawer you don't need or in your closet, but take it slow and start getting organized and decluttering. Start making space in your home for a happier life and not clutter. I did a recent video where I talked about how a lady had passed away that was renting a home from me. And when her daughters came to clean out her home and take what they wanted, they found, and actually in that video, I said there was one storage building, but I'll actually put a picture now. The woman had rented two storage buildings that were on in the on the property and they were full of those bins they were full of clothes and shoes and collectibles and the daughters did not want all that stuff did not need all that stuff and when i heard this podcast and i heard tracy talk about that i thought you know this this is what was going on in that lady's home she was shopping 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 and didn't have any more room in the home so she was renting storage buildings <laughs> and had and bought these bins and has filled it up with these things and you know I think probably the things in those bins had probably been there for years and the tenant never used them I'm going to link the video I made about that situation in the description below I'd love for you to watch that video I want to encourage you today, if you have a lot of storage bins full of stuff, if it's Christmas decorations or Halloween decorations or just clothes and shoes or maybe crafting items, go through those bins and see do you really need those things. Especially if your house is so full of that kind of stuff that you're not using on a, at least a weekly or monthly basis, do you really need to be hanging on to those things? And should you be buying so many things? 
I love a minimal styled home. I love to have a home that's not full of clutter, but I also like a home that when you open a drawer, you can see what's in it. It's not completely full and you don't even, can't even find what you're looking for. I like to open the closets and see what I have and not just so packed full of shoes and purses and clothes and bags and things that I, I can't even see what I have. You know, one of the things Tracy mentioned in that interview is so many people that have too much in their closet say they don't have anything to wear. But the problem is, in her opinion, they have so much stuff in their closet, they don't know what they have. They can't even find the outfit maybe that they bought a few months ago that would be perfect to wear. But they have so much stuff in their closet, they can't even find it. And they don't even remember they bought it. Well, I want to encourage you today to go through your closets and declutter. Go through your drawers and see, is there stuff that's old and outdated or just just trash? Do I need to throw these old coupons away? Have they expired? Well, thanks for watching today's video. I hope I've encouraged you to declutter and to not think that you can shop your way into getting organized. You might not need to buy more storage bins or a bigger closet or a bigger house or some storage buildings. You probably just need to declutter. Grab a trash bag and just try to do one drawer at a time or maybe one closet at a time or even one shelf in your closet at a time. But you can do it. And I think you'll be surprised what you find in your closet. You may stop saying, I have nothing to wear because you'll find things you have you forgot. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.